Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. I got a little bit of a layout update for you today. Following up to my video on the river and the street happening here, uh, I got some really good feedback in the comments for that video. First, it was suggested that the road come straight across and not cut across and run along with the tracks because that would chew up all that scenery in between those two tracks and it kind of just makes everything run the same direction and it's a little bit more realistic visually pleasing whatever to have the street come across and then go off the layout i have a bad tendency to want everything to connect and that's not going to happen because this is a section of something it's not the whole something so roads are going to disappear rivers are going to disappear you might even want a track to disappear. It just makes it feel bigger than it is. So I've definitely decided against running the street along with the track. Another suggestion was making it just a narrow, you know, country one lane type of a road. And I'm liking that idea because it takes up less space. And also it just fits more with kind of the rural image that I have in my head of what this layout looks like. So I recut the road with the foam core to kind of lay it out, stuck some of the foam core in between the tracks to act as kind of a crossing, I guess, and made a little wall on this side. And I'm liking the look of it. I'm liking that it's taking up less room. So I'm gonna continue with this idea with it being a single lane that comes across and then exits the layout here. And then over by the town, I'll have another road come onto the layout and into the town. Another suggestion was making this more of a body of water instead of a stream. I don't know that I want it to be lake-ish. Uh, it's kind of a tight spot. Maybe a wider, deeper river though would be more interesting than the little stream that I had pictured. So I'm gonna continue kind of chipping away at it, uh, seeing how it develops, and then I'll just finish directing it this way and under the track and off the edge of the layout. Another point is what happens to the road on the other side of this track back here? Does it need to go somewhere? Can it kind of just disappear? The road could come, you know, up this way and over, and that's not going to really change anything. I was considering removing this bridge from up here and filling in that space so that it's not like part of a valley. It has, it's like its own scene. But I could still, I could have like a, a tunnel come out and over the tracks. And that might be neat. So I'll, I'll think about that and see where that goes. As far as the river is concerned, I might just have it come out of the rocks here under the bridge and go from there. Just want to have some sort of theoretical start to it. Uh, I think coming down here or around the back or whatever, both, you know, would give it that kind of a feel. For the moment, I'm going to not really worry about that, but worry more about the section that you can see and how that should be set up. This is around the back and the other side, uh, about where the river would come from. And I realize I've got some rock here I can chip away, maybe even have it seem like it's coming from the back side of this mountain and down and then around. So I spent a good amount of time on this today, carving the river, fitting the culverts, kind of repair the front where it's going to come through. I could either do like a cross section of the river or have it be a waterfall and kind of trickle down the rock face, which is probably what I'll do. But I obviously wouldn't do that for the road because that wouldn't make sense. So maybe that will just kind of end in a cross section. Uh, I found my road tape obviously, and did a fantastic job of uh, road taping that up. Uh, I just wanted some color on there to give me a better idea of what it would look like. I used two inch gray conduit, I cut the ends at roughly 40 degree angles, and then sliced the bottom off to use as culverts and then kind of use those to see how much space I needed under the track. Cut that foam out and kind of shove those in there. You'll see from the pictures that when I was digging this section here, I went through the bottom of the table, 
Um, but that's fine. I just put more foam underneath it. Luckily, there were no cross beams there, and I had plenty of space to put another two inch sheet of foam underneath there to uh, give me more depth. I did have to notch the wood of the table out to give me the height I needed to get the culvert in. I don't think that's going to cause any structural issue. It's not more than a third cut down into there, and it's just a notch, so I'm not concerned. So this front section's where I stopped. I uh, wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to proceed, so I figured I would leave it for now and come back and look at it later. This whole piece here is new. I had to, the way I cut the front, it wasn't gonna line up. So I just cut straight lines and put a new piece in there to give me the depth I needed and to fill in some of the holes. You'll see I've got kind of a hole there, uh, but I'll fill that in at some point with little pieces or shove pieces in there and then you know, like gravel over this so you won't really see it. At least I hope. I mean, if I have to, I'll put a thin piece of foam over here. But I, I think by the time I, I put any dirt and whatnot under the water there, it, you won't see it. With this section here in between the two tracks, I just worked with the contour of the foam. I'd already kind of shaped it a bit, so I just kind of carved around it and thought about, you know, where would the water flow if it were flowing? And I uh, just kind of cut it that way. There's a bit of a drop off here. Uh, I th thought that might be interesting to see the water kind of, a little waterfall there and have it trickle down. Uh, again, I mean, this is only a stream. It's not a major river or anything like that. So I think it's all gonna look pretty neat. I am I am glad that somebody had mentioned bringing the street straight out to the edge because I think this area over here, there's just a lot I could do with that scenically and I'm glad that I'm not going to be running a street right through it. I didn't do much back here other than cut it enough to get the conduit under there. I didn't want to dig it too deep and then change my mind later. I figure I'm probably going to shape this out a little bit and then have the water come around. Uh, I still consider this a very rough sketch of what I want here. There's going to be a lot more carving taking place for the river and obviously a good amount of work on the road. Uh, foam core wrapped with tape is just not the way I want to go. I'll have to think about how I want to make the road uh, and whether or not I want it to be dirt or paved or whatnot. I did not intend for the river and the road to kind of follow the same contour, but I, I like it because, you know, many times a road will follow a stream. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun to see. And the road might change a little bit as I decide how exactly to make it, but for the time being, it's kind of fun. It definitely adds a lot of visual interest looking this way and it gives purpose to the bridge. I'm pretty happy with the way it's going.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.